YouTube and welcome to my Christmas Pipes edition. Just playing a little uh, German choir, Christmas choir, carol music in the background. Well, let me start with uh, what they brought me on the first day of Christmas, which was this lovely Chacom. Actually, it's this year's pipe for Christmas with a lovely Christmas tree on the side. Beautiful green stem, which you know I like these green stems. A nice spigot pipe, which I've actually filled in readiness to have a smoke a bit later. And I bought that in France from Fumé Chic, which is a lovely tobacco store. If uh, you ever thinking of buying a French pipe. Beautiful. And on the second day of Christmas, my true love brought to me a red Savanelli. Isn't that lovely? A prince. I do like the shape of the prince pipe. It's very elegant. Marvellous. And that is this year's St. Nicholas pipe, which I'm holding probably up, upside down, but there we are. Lovely form and beautiful long red stem, very Christmassy, I think. On the third day of Christmas, my true love brought to me Three Ben Wades. Well, what else? You know me. You know I like Ben Wades. Let's wade into the Ben Wades, shall we? And what I love is this lovely Santa here with his reindeer on this beautiful marbled red stem, acrylic stem, with a, a slight bend to it and a lovely silver 925 ring. And this is the Ben Wade of London. This is the Christmas pipe this year. And this is a, a sit up or a stand up, whatever you want to call it, poker in cherry wood. Very nice, very elegant. Goes very nice with a, a red smoking jacket. So get yourself one of these and get yourself a red smoking jacket. That's important for Christmas, I think. And what else do we have in these three Ben Wades? This was the 2018 Ben Wade pipe, if I'm right. Yes, there we are. And it's got this nice apple bowl. I'm not normally such a fan of apple bowls, but they are very nice to hold. Plenty of thickness in the wood to reduce the heat. Very comfortable to hold. Nice capacity. And again, this attractive red stem, I think, with this time a white collar, not a silver collar, but that looks like a bit like my Christmas cap over there, doesn't it? So it's also rather Christmassy. And then my third Ben Wade is uh, the 2017 Ben Wade pipe. They actually still have some of their old uh, past Christmases, pipes of Christmas past, they call it, available. And there's a Santa on the base of the bowl here. Again, it's a sit up poker. This 925 silver ring. And again, the lovely sleigh on the, on the red stem. And that's a briar in this case. Beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? It's nice to have a choice of pipes over the festive period. In my case, it, I stretch it out to almost a month, so it's good to have a few different pipes. Mid-December till, let's say, January the 10th. And so we had the third day of Christmas, the fourth day of Christmas, my true love brought to me a glass of eggnog. Why not? 
They do these so well over here, and I know in America it's very popular. They call it uh, an eye liqueur here, or a, a, a winter cream, or an Advocar. I'll just take a sip. Mmm. Ah, cheers. That was nice. And the fourth day of Christmas, my true love brought to me a Stanwell Xmas pipe from 2013. Stamped made in Denmark. This was before production moved, I think, to Italy. They make very good pipes still today. I think it's Barantini who does it, but someone out there probably knows that. Look at the beautiful grain and birds eyeing on the base there. Nice, heavy, thick walled pipe, beautiful quality. I do like Stanwell's and that's lovely just with the, with the collar there. Beautiful, isn't it? Which brings me to Pipe number six, which is this year's Peterson pipe, which also has a silver collar, which is hallmarked even, and Mark Peterson, and this is their 2019 pipe. And it's uh, sort of called a plum, uh, not a Christmas pudding pipe, not a plum pudding pipe although they're very similar. Christmas pudding, it looks a bit like a Christmas pudding, which is why it's uh, got a brown stem as well. I do like the white stem and I've asked Peterson if they can send me a white stem. I think that even looks more Christmassy, but it's a lovely, lovely pipe. And I shall be smoking that also over the Christmas period. And the question you ask is, what will you smoke? Well, it won't be that eggnog there, although there are some eggnog uh, blends out there uh, that I've seen from some tobacconists. But I shall be researching uh, the Rattray's Winter Limited Edition. And they come in these lovely tins you see there on the right from my lovely red coat picture, which I did buy, by the way, I did buy that lovely picture so I hope I'll be able to reintroduce it in my thumbnail now I own it. But those tins are of course everybody knows useless to actually keep tobacco in for any length of time unless it's in a sealed bag which they weren't. So anyway I've jarred them up. They do give you a card with all of the information. I've used that as a label so that makes sense. I've got some Rattray Winter Edition. I've got some Kohlhauser and COP winter time 2019 and of course I couldn't resist to get the corn cob pipe Cornell and Deal holiday blend which there's been a number, a number of reviews on and everybody likes it so I'm sure I will like it as well. So one last time cheers everybody. And I wish you all a great pipe to smoke with and a wonderful holiday blend to smoke in it. A very festive and merry and happy Christmas to each and every one of you out there. God bless.